Mike McCoy here. Got mother as the cameraman. We're down here at the mill today. Had to have a treatment and uh, we're getting a late start. It's about 2.30. But we ain't going to be sawing none. But I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing. Like yesterday we put a valve in this thing. It took a few hours to do that. I'll let mother show that to you. It's kind of <laughs> dark. I don't know. Yeah, it may be stark, can't you see. But there it is. That valve works up and down. The old one just wore out and I could not get parts for it. It was Parker valves. And uh, but we got that in there, got it off eBay and it works it so far it works real good. We ain't sawed with it, but just running it through its test phases and stuff, it, it worked real good. With with my brawn and mother's brain, we we got it. <laughs> and uh, down here, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the set works on this thing. See that big dial right there? That dial tells me where I'm at. Like right <laughs> now, it's pointing at 18 inches. And, I thought that was my job. Well, you tell me where I need to go. <laughs> But right there, it's pointed 18 inches. There's 18 inches from the edge of the saw to the back of that knee right there. And inside the cab bar, whatever setting I have it on, when I mash that button, it'll move over that much. And right yonder is the set works in that box. And it's just micro switches. It's, all, it's a real simple set of setup. And it works really good. That round like thing you see there on the edge, that's the brake. That holds everything steady so the carriage don't move. But it, it works good. And uh, that's all the art of the set works. You just, it, there's three buttons in the lever that I run uh, with my left hand. One's forward, one's reverse, and one's the set work. And when I hit that set works, it comes out the same amount every time. And I've got settings well I, I'll explain it in a minute so yeah, there ain't nothing to it and that wire right there it travels back and forth that's what hooks it all together and uh, it's it's just a real simple setup there ain't nothing complicated about it that thing you see on the back of the saw there they call that a lumber splitter, and uh, that keeps a uh, that keeps the board from coming together. Sometimes that, uh, like hemlock, it'll it'll grip that saw spade. You have to back it up out of it. I ain't never seen nothing grip like that stuff do. And uh, but that's that's all there are to that. That's about all I know to tell you. I mean, it, it, this this thing is so dead simple. It, uh, there ain't much to explain. Now, there's, there's a guide there at the front. Uh, that's what I was setting when I cut my thumb. But that just holds the saw still. Uh, that guide should never touch that saw, but if a saw comes in or out, it or, it'll catch it to keep it from just keeping on going and wadding the saw up or or breaking something but uh, you, you old fella told me one time said you can't saw with the guide you can't hold that saw and saw with saw it with the guide that that guide's just sort of a safety precaution you know but that's it and, and that thing with the radiator on it right there I'll tell you about it for that that's what pulls carriage back and forth it's got a you can see that pump on the side of it there, and uh, there's a valve down there, and, it's, and then there's a motor down there that turns that big drum and pulls the cable back and forth. Ain't nothing to that either, and that, that gives very little trouble. But that's, that's about what it is. Okay, now we're recording. Now this handle right here, this button on my thumb, that picks the dogs up and down. This button squirts them out four inches or leaves them back to where it'll hold the inch board. And uh, this part here, it'll move in. 
that uh, that works your log turner this year this year that makes the the roll bed go or the log bed rather but that's what that does now this knob right here has eight settings on that one through eight and each setting represents a thickness of lumber like that number one that's three quarter inch that's one inch number three is a heavy inch five quarter six quarter and uh, this one is eight quarters and this one here is like two and a half and this one's dead I don't use it, it the, the wire going to it's got a short in it I just ain't never changed it and this thing right here that button right there when you mash that button it'll go in accordingly to what you've got this turned to you mash that button it'll just run in mash that button and it'll run out and you know that, that's, that's all there are to it you pull back on this the carriage goes that that way <laughs> push forward on it and the carriage goes that way back and that's about all they are to run in this thing and you you do it by feel you don't just rear back on that thing pull it all the way back you you it just don't work that way and the only way you can tell what to do by feel is just experience you know I, I could shut my eyes and saw as far as that go for I, I could listen to the song I know what it's doing but uh, that's basically where that's at you just run the carriage back there you roll the log down there's the kickers and uh, this, this thing here kicks them too you know and then this here works a log turner and the dogs and this in here you run it in or out it's a real simple system at one time it had some uh, kick out things on the, and they sure worked in but I I've not had that hooked up in years I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to hook it up it wasn't hooked up in a bought the mill and the carriage is pulled with that cable right there it pulls it back and forth but that's about all there are to it. I mean, this is just dead simple stuff. Uh, the, the carriage itself works with the uh, micro switches. And let me open this spaghetti box up down here and I'll show you what it looks like in here. There's one screw right there. I just keep it finger tight. And you can see in there it's just a, like spaghetti war and there's a little fuse right there and you can't put a big fuse in there if you do it will burn this little fella up and if you burn that up the last one I bought was like ninety dollars and that was years ago and I wouldn't even know where you could get one at now but the old guy I bought this meal off of, he said, now that's just brain box. And said, that's, that's just brain. said, if you, you don't want to mess that up. And it, it ain't its brain, I don't think. You know, there ain't nothing computerized on this thing. There's just a little box in the back back there that runs a bar up and it breaks a, a micro switch. And that's how it does it. It's got a electrically operated brake to keep the carriage from moving once it's set in play. That's about it. Ain't nothing to it. Just a common old timey meal. And back in the day these things was just the Cadillac, you know. But that day's long past. And last week Stunt Jumper come down, had a good visit. He come down, seen the meal. This stump jumper's just a good guy. I really think a lot of him. And uh, 
him and Mammy, and all of us got together. Say hi, man. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Say hi, man. Say hi, man. Say hi, man. Say hi, man. his wife, Arthur Rogers and his wife, MSL and his wife and two kids. And we had a real good meal and just enjoyed it immensely. But, and I didn't film a bit when Stump Jumper was here. For, to me, it's kind of awkward to film somebody and they're visiting me. And I know it shouldn't be. And Stump Jumper filmed and I was tickled to death for him to do it. But, you know... If somebody travels that far to see me, I, I figure I call, dev, need to devote my attention to them instead of trying to make a video. And I'm probably looking at it wrong, but that's just the way I am. So, now you've seen how this meal works. And I'll try to show you a little more about when it's running. But, I mean, this thing is just dead simple. So, talk at you later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.